everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have very exciting news for you. I am going to read a book which has come from a special part of the world. Uganda! Which is a country in Africa. Let me show you where it is. <clears throat> Here I've got a map of the world with all the continents. They are... North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Let me show you where Uganda is. I'm in London. Before I start reading... I would like to dedicate this video to all the children in Uganda. The monster and the hare. Long ago when a particular village was still inhabited by only animals. There lived in it the hare and monsters. In the species of the monsters, the biggest of them all had 12 eyes. The king was a lion who had a jewel on his tail. One day, the king called a great dancing festival where all animals of their kind were to dance before the king. Other, animal, un, other animals included Elephants, leopards, monkeys and birds such as eagles and also among the animals was a snake. That time for any animal to be respected it had to first kneel down before the king. All the animals went to call and mobilis their fellows. The hares, the monsters, from one eye to twelve eyes, with fellow monsters and the birds, all went to invite their fellows for, for the great dance. Soon the practices begun. The animals had danced for long with vigour and excitement. The turkeys practised their drumming. While the monsters and the rest of the animals were practising their acts, the girl was to the stream to fetch water from the dancer. At the stream, the girls met Okodo, whose feet were like for someone had leprosy. Okodo came out of the rocks where water was flowing from and requested the girls for some drinking water. Okodo pleased with the girls in vain. The girls refused to give Okodo drinking water, saying, You have leprosy and using our calabash with will make us a your cure your contagious disease. As the girls were leaving the stream, the hare felt pity 
for it for a coddle. The hare stepped back, got the water in it in its very clean ca- calabash, and gave to a coddle to drink. After drinking the water, a coddle called the hare and instructed the hare to go and tell its fellow relatives and other animals who are kind like the hare to leave the dance immediately and rush home because part of heaven is going to fall and bury and bury everyone at the dance ground different animals were ex- res- rep- represented in the festival the hare rushed and sh- and shared with the rest of the animals others o- obeyed and went home immediately but the monsters remi- remained the remained the and continued dancing after a short while a very big rock fell from heaven and covered them all all killing all the monsters as the hare was warning the other animals the rocks started falling from heaven this is the reason why there are no monsters today you will only find their bones in the museums the rock that fell from above and covered the monster still existed up to to date and it's called aboyo in palabic lamvo district the king lion was so happy with okodo and choose to bring back to community from exclusion D and if you like to get this book for yourself you can find it here my mum has told me they publish one book per quarter so four books a year and that's you can describe to receive these four books just for you to know each annual subscription gives access to four children to receive books every week for one year lots of love enjoy reading with me